Chelsea keen on Southampton player but roadblock emerge in potential transfer. Romeo Lavia is on the radar of the free spending loose but not everyone at Stamford Bridge is reportedly fanned. Following their relegation to the championship, Chain is coming at Southampton with Russell Martin expired appointment. The current Swansea City head coach will likely be without several of the club's biggest assets. Next season, Taut, when he takes over with plenty of Premier League interest, swirling the spider poor 2022-23 season as a club. One of those talents that looks likely to be on the move is Romeo Lavia, who has been interesting in another disappointing club from the current campaigns in the form of Moneybacks, Chelsea, who have not been shy when it comes to split city kids and their new owner, Ted Bailey. What is the latest on Chelsea's interest in Romeo Lavia? The Blues have been looking at Lavia for a number of months, with serious interest reported a layer on in 2023 for this coming summer. And per fresh report from the Daily Mail, Chelsea scout have been watching Lavia in the final few weeks of the 2022-23 season for the Saints to see if he'd be a good fit for the club. The individual piercing hearts for the club to make a move for the 19 year old midfielder this summer is director of recruitment Joe Seolt, who helped sign Lafia for Stampton when he was head of recruitment and he also knew the background from his time at Manchester City as head of academy recruitment. It appears that he has some work to do in order to get the club to finance a deal set out with several other important members of the Chelsea Urachi and transport team not as convinced as seals that Lafia is the right signing to make. With incoming manager Mauricio Pochettino factoring a 4 to 2 to 3 to 1 from matching during his time in England as a manager, that could be scoped to add another defensive minded midfielder next to Enzo Fernandez next season. Golo Kante spent much of the current campaigns out in Jury, and Matthew Kovacic is being linked with a move away this summer too, so it wouldn't be suck if a younger midfielder was coached. With Lafia being so early into his professional career, Chelsea not having European football not season shouldn't be too much of an issue for his ambition. But Manchester City having buyback close agreed with Stampton could be another roadblock and any potential swoop by the Blues. City could easily trigger that and then demand a bigger fee for Lafia Savis. But at this stage, it's not even clear as to whether Chelsea will push on in an attempt to bring him to Stamford Bridge due to indifference at recruitment team level. So that be able to get him for around the 35 million pounds mark, though it will be a smart beat of business.